God and Liberty. I mean, it's their damn motto. All the paradise references. I can't believe we missed it. See you two made it out, okay? Way better than okay. We found the Battaglia. Elaine, it's... It's not what it looks like. Really? Because what it looks like is that you're searching for Henry Avery's buried treasure. Wait. Elena, wait! I don't get you. Look, I, I wanted to tell you. You know what? Enough! No, I wanted to, but how could I? I don't know. Just say it. I had to protect you. That is bullshit, Nate. You just didn't have the nerve to face me again. I, I knew you would react like this. I think we've actually taken a moment. We have to step back and appreciate just how far we've come. Say Parvis Magna. Say Parvis Magna. Yeah. Hello guys, welcome back to Uncharted 4, Thief's End. Last time we got to this mountainous uh, sea oh, area. Mean, at least there's an island, right? Yeah, at least there's an island. Just keep an eye out for anything man-made. Ah, you mean pirate-made. <laughs> sure. Pirate-made, huh? May as well look around and see if we can find anything you know, of that sort. Maybe Libertalia is more of a... Small beachside shack. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's a tree house. <laughs> maybe Avery spent his entire fortune setting up this treasure hunt and ran out of money to actually build. Nathan, up there! That was quick. Kind of like a. Well, that definitely qualifies as man made. Uh uh. Pirate made. Uh huh. That was kind of quick to judgment. I was just gonna poke around. I didn't think we'd run into something of that sort this quick, but uh, what I'm doing anyway. Who cares? Anyways, uh, let's find a way up to that tower. Yeah. Or picking little cherries off the trees and like uh, enslaving ourselves, trying to like get to like the top of towers and stuff. We're just running around trying to find artifacts. Um. Anyways, time to like relax, take some time away from gunfire, and just kind of appreciate what the game offers us. Like at least a little bit of time and peace to ourselves, let alone just killing bad guys all the time. Anyway, uh, huh. as we'll look around, see what is uh laying all over the place. Eh, nothing much of sort, just a bunch of trees all over the place that have been knocked down. This would be one hell of a place to hide a little treasure piece. But, of course, the game did not do that. I'm almost shocked that Naughty Dog doesn't, like, notice these things. I mean, they still do uh, pick out some pretty good, clever spots for treasure, but that would have been one of them. Anyways. Um, yeah, let's get over to the other side and start swimming around. Uh, where's the boat? Where's the boat? Actually, no, it's kind of far away. Let's just swim a dim a dim. Actually, what am I doing? What am I doing? Was I supposed to find little stairs up this thing? Was I not paying attention? Let's see here. And yep, I was. I was not paying attention whatsoever. This little staircase. Right here. Aha. And we look in this little center right here. Right there. Um, uncover it. Huh. It's a door of some kind. <clears throat> Covering a chamber? A massive chamber. Restoring a bunch of treasure? No way. Not with his ego. Wherever Avery put the treasure is going to be the most elaborate place we've seen yet. And it would be well protected, too. That makes sense. Hey, uh, guys, I also did want to mention that Hope this. Yeah, I hope it's not much of a difference, but like I am, uh, I set the setting of uh, recording audio and footage, or I don't know about audio, but footage, t to uh, 1080p on the PS4, take an old look at and uh, I don't know, I'll in editing, spot something from I, might, I may or may not see a difference in it, but I'm kind of nervous to see how this goes, because like I don't want it to be ruined or anything if I did something wrong, uh, but if it doesn't, great, but <laughs> right now I do kind of want to see how 
Let's go. So I'm kind of kind of nervous going into this. Okay, up we go. So let's find out. And Nathan, Nathan, are you okay? Anyways, um, there's a ladder right here. And Jesus, like, I kind of enjoy how like Naughty Dog like understands what they put in The Last of Us, uh, the first game. Uh, like the trees growing inside of the buildings and stuff. That's kind of like a decor that everybody like imagines when like the whole environment is like screwed up. Sam, this way. Imaginable. Anyways, I'm gonna climb up this rope of dope. And I should not say the word dope in my videos. YouTube says copyright. Anyways, um, yeah. But huh, it's a little sphere thing. With a little arrow thing on it. This looks promising. Huh. Some kind of symbol. Huh. It's an arrow thing. Uh. Also, I'm not sure if I remember... Well, we do, we do remember that puzzle. Uh, which was relatively easy. It wasn't too much to get off of our hands, but I don't know. I managed to figure it out, but I want to, like, make sure that you guys have been having uh, opportunities to read, read stuff. The artifact, at least. How did you know to do that? Well, there's one thing I've learned from you. Press everything. <laughs> Down there. It's the same symbol. Another arrow. Let's go find out where it's pointing. Hmm. Come on. Boat's right below us. Interesting yep. enough. Time to get this sexy James Bond action going on by repelling below. Just blah! Right there. Anyway, it's time to move on. Getting out of this thing. There's the boat. May as well wait. I'm gonna go to it myself. I'm gonna find it. Go to the other side of the island and look for that frickin' arrow. Actually, you don't have to, because the very front of the island has it right there. Right there. We're gonna find out where it's pointing. We're gonna find the treasure. We're gonna bury it, claim it for ourselves, and survive. But, of course, the game is never that simple. Follow these arrows, see where they go. Time to get our driving skills in in the gear. Let's go left. That's where the arrow's pointing, and there it is. Right there. Hey look, another arrow over there. It's pointing this way, and you wanna find the arrow pointing that way, straight. And then what that's gonna do is gonna point out to this other arrow right here. It's gonna go left, I believe. Yep, lefty Lucy. Spankin' Cooksy. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying anymore. Uh, I believe the next arrow is Rachel. And then you want to follow it. This next arrow, the sand below the water, and then it'll be right there. And then the final arrow should be in plain sight, which is right here. And the final one, I assume, would be in this cove area. If you go in between these rocks. Or right here, at least. And the final arrow is right there. Mm, giant gate. Good sign. I'm just gonna pull up to this, and I believe this is from what I remember. The way you climb this tower. Here we go. You got it. This is pretty cool. And actually, what am I doing? Climbing What's the lowest volume? Yes, climbing this cliff on a giant secret pirate island. I mean, come sorry on. guys. When I record, I usually have my volume on my TV very fucking low, and yeah, and so far I did not do that. Silly me. Anyways.
Then I want to shimmy, shimmy Coco Papa. What was that weird glitch on this side? Like, did, like the sun just kind of like say, boop, I'm gonna pop out of nowhere. But, I don't know. Maybe that was me. Maybe it was the life cereal I had earlier. Maybe it's the sugar getting into my system that's making me notice weird things. Anyways. And my dogs are yawning up a storm. Saying the F word in their dreams. And then All right. land these Back things. In okay, hold on. Just gotta not fall to my death over here. Whoa, whoa. Making sure Sam's not dying over there. And there he is. Living the dream. Wow, Avery wasn't much for subtlety or understatement, was he? Well, he had the money. You got it, flown it, right? So, does this qualify as the most elaborate place we've seen yet? It's up there. Come on, drop it up. Let's, look. Let's find out what lies within. Oh, and there's a treasure right there. Pick it up. I am the greatest treasure hunter of all time. Sweet. Ish. Oh, look. The main entrance is blocked by debris. Again. Well, I guess Avery's builders clearly didn't take hundreds of years of erosion into account. Clearly. I need to find another way around. And you want to find your little ledgy ledge over here. And hop your way across and then climb this bang. Again, you'd think I never played Uncharted before, but that's, that's where you're very, very wrong. Um, hey, Sam. Come on, give me a hand this crap it. up yeah, sure. and get it out of the way. The glamorous life of a treasure. Climb that crap. Get it out of the way. <laughs> what? What the hell did I just do there? I wanted to like tumble and roll across the log, but that wasn't the case. My ass just fell like an idiot. Instead of just moving on, like let's admire like the appearance of the sea. Like, oh, Jesus. Rope bridge up there. Naughty dog, you can just tell, took their sweet time with this. I love games that are just detailed in like the littlest ways possible. It's just It's insane. I like when people take time to put in the efforts. Quite the view. Come on. <coughs> See what you can find up there. You got it. Like, notice well, in 3, Uncharted 3, like, the plants didn't, like, move around as much. So, hold on. And you walk on them and everything. This is, like, everything just kind of responds to you and, like, what you do around it. Kind of like right there, like, the bridge responded to Sam by f collapsing. Because Sam is just a heavyweight. <laughs> Sam! Anything? Sam! Hey! You still there? God damn it. Apparently not. Let's see here. I ruined my marriage. Drove my best friend away. Got two psychos in their army after me. And now my brother's gone missing. Not on the bright side. There's no one around to tell me I'm an idiot. <laughs> Nathan, everybody feels your pain, my guy. You're already up here? Where were you? Finding a way to get you up here. All right, just jump across then. Thanks. Everything that all right? Ledge? 
looked relatively going. easy. I don't think I needed his help. Maybe, like, Sam tried to, like, redeem himself by saying, Sorry for disappearing, let me just help you out. Doesn't work that way, man. Anyways. Also, I wanted to mention, like, I believe somewhere around here, like, my file, or was... My game file was fine, but my audacity decided to be a dick and crash. You hear me? Where, um, when I get there, to, like, the regular point of where I was in the game file, I'm gonna go ahead and resume. I was and worried. Load the game distracted. file from there, and hopefully it shouldn't take I'm too long. I'm now. What's that and supposed to mean? Nothing. Yeah. We? Yeah. Let's. Hopefully it didn't take too long, and uh, I want to find the right point and appropriate it and like load it back to reality. Right now I'm just playing the chapter from the beginning because my audacity decided to say, "Hey, I'm gonna crash, and you gotta start the freaking recording all over again." So that's annoying. So. My apologies. So I believe, from my memory, was saying going this way. And hopping my way up. Anything? Hang on a sec. I don't think there was much Sam. on the side. No good, it's a dead end. Oh, shit. Alright, we'll head on back then. Huh. And there's your little ledge right there. And one more swing for emphasis, and there you go. There's a path down here. Great. Right behind you. Swinging like Tarzan, I swear. Having all sorts of fun with this. Wanted to make sure my audacity didn't, didn't crash there. I was kind of like moving the mouse back and forth. Make sure my computer is alive. Oh, my laptop battery does not kind of shit out on me in this recording, because if it does, i got to record this all over again. And this would be the one chapter I'd be sick of. But, that's the case. I enjoy every single chapter. Okay, jump a jump. I believe it's here. Um, from my memory. No? And it's right here, maybe? I'm trying to, like, find where I left off in the game file where nice my audacity crashed. I'm just trying to find it. Sam, in here. Got it. This is probably it. I'm probably passing it up, but... I don't know. When I get to the game file, I'm gonna find out. And I think this is right here. I believe. It is. It's like we're still on the right track. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and quit and say it's a title, and I'm going to go ahead to the game file because I'm playing the chapter right now. So I'll be back in a sec. We're here, I believe. Yeah, we're back. So, my remembrance is going this way, and going to the side right here, and hopping nice our way job. up. And this is the game file, by the way. I'm just going to do what I did again, Sam, and in here. Got just it. resume. Hopefully this time my audacity does not crash on me. Really... My computer crashes way more than my game does, and that's kind of all right. Looks like we're still on the right track. Well, with Sam's actions by just not following us, tells us that he does not care at all. How did no one find this? Boy, this is beautiful. Like, 
you can tell, like, literally, from when Uncharted uh, Drake's Fortune was made, it was in 2007, then Among Thieves came out in 2009, and then Drake's Deception came out in, in 2011. Literally, there's just, like, a two-year difference in, like, the game development time. But, like, this came out in 2016, I believe. You can tell that the time difference that they just spent on this was just extraordinary. It's ridiculous. I love it, though. It's just completely astonishing how somebody can just create something so beautiful. It's ridiculous. But again, like I mentioned, I love when people take time and put in, like, the best of their abilities and stuff. Did you ever think we'd be doing crazy shit like this? No, I can't say I did. And we hop across. Looks like we're heading down. Careful. And we jump. Slide down like a swishy slide. And like that. And I did not mean to make that sound. That is the second biggest cistern I've ever seen. Wait, wait, where was the biggest? I'll tell you later. Come on, let's get down there. Geronimo. And nothing Sam, come here. around this way. This way. And... Voila. Reed. You doing okay? All right. Piece of cake. It's about to say he can drop any time, but he. Yeah. And my computer kind of shit out on me right there. And it blacked out on me. Kind of weird. Hope it doesn't happen again. Lots of supplies in here. Tools, seeds, uh, provisions, probably past their sell-by date. Yeah, you can tell, like, this little wheel thing right here. Kind of like it broke off. I don't like the way things are broken. Well, I like the environment. Like, literally you can tell some stuff has happened here. And, like, these two guys, like, at least a few hundred years in the future just come back and explore and they try to analyze what happened in the past without reading so much they're just so fascinated with it but I'm having a good time with the series well you can tell that we're not going to find much in the water let's let's take our sweet time and uh I think we've already explored a lot in this room. There was one more, I believe. One more room, and I believe it's this way. Yeah. Boy. This is just, you can tell literally how scary Sam, this looks. Look. Hey, uh, maybe they were planning a massive theme park? Pirate land. <laughs> Sam, check out this diorama. Uh, that looks like a city street. You think they actually built all this stuff? With these guys, I don't know anymore. It's really well made. Nice knickknack. I will say. Blueprints. Well, brown prints. Poke around. Huh, you can tell like all the sigils are here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12 right in the middle. Sam, check it out. Look, pirate captain's sigils all gathered around Avery. Avery and two holding court over their captains. Looks like they're writing their code of conduct. Pirate Bill of Rights. It's Avery's ship. <laughs> the fancy. Yeah, attacking the guns away. That's how it all started. Nathan, this is this is the story of the founding of Libertalia. So what the hell was this place?
Getting right past that, we've explored, and I think it's time to progress on. Man, I just want to, like, admire how um, this holy statue, like, man, that is just kind of creepy, but I enjoy it. Here we go. The door it's thing opens. No, we're gonna no, no. get it on. One way or another, we're getting in there. Lift up this door. Right? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna pick it up with my hands. This. Oh, God, this is heavy. And wow, like just muscles, uh, man. All that treasure. Yeah, mostly just thinking about my back. <sighs> Shit. Whoa. It looks like we got ourselves another trial. It sure looks like it. Hmm. Huh. I like the atmosphere. Let's check it out. Let's see what these do. What do we have in play for us? Let's find out. Oh, okay. So So let's take a look at the first light. Let's find out what sphere that is. I think it's this sphere right in front of me. Symbols on the spheres don't match the ones on the light. Ah, they turn the symbols. That'll help. And we have one that's turned, and we want to find the other one, which is black on the left and the sun on the right. So, Alright. Just turn, turn, turn until it's correct. I think that's where it goes. There we go. What is that? Oh, look. Statues. Pirate captains. There's Bonnie uh, Baldridge. All Basra. Can't play that guy's name. Alright, let's get this line. So, on. who was this Al Basra? Uh, he was a monk. One. Those three lines. He was taken to be executed. He got freed during the battle and blew up the guns for his gun podcast. Alright, we got one. Maybe the other one on the lefty diagonal line. Let's kind of like move this one over. I think. Yeah, this is this one. Since there's no gear on that side, that's going to turn this one. You see how the one on the left isn't turning? You want to like find well, yeah. Now you just gotta get him into the lights. Then I could have went the short way and just went to the right side, but I tend to make this longer. Got it. Here we go again. We got Let's see. Joseph Farrell, William Mays, Tariq bin Malik, and Eight out of twelve. All right. Hey, look, symbols on the ring are constantly rotating. Jeez. Bin Malik guy. It's Moorish. Uh, yeah. Um, let's see here. What's he doing so far from the Barbary Coast? Same as us. Where the action is. Let's get this one first. One more on this side, the right side. And that should do it. And we want to get the other one on that light right there. So let's kind of move this one and find out. I didn't try on the last one, I just kind of winged it. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> and the last of them. Richard Blunt, Edward England, and Tom 
coast. Sam, look, that's where we're going. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. That's only 11 pirates. We're missing our star pirates. Uh-huh. It's kind of weird. If you guys, like, want a little bit of a walkthrough on that, on that trial, like, on the last phase, like, the top row, you want to, like, uh, time and, like, spin the, uh, the shapes, like... When you move them, they spin. On uh, the other two, they didn't spin when you moved them left and right. The last one they did, you want to, like, time them correctly and make sure they land in the same spot at the light show. So... Just a bit of a walkthrough in there. Let's... Yank it back like yank it, yank it. Where to now? We are out of here. Shit. Here's your missing Avery statue. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to get the feeling that our friend was a bit of a narcissist. You think? <laughs> yeah. Let's go see what he's got in store for us. Oh, that's, uh, that's a long way down. I wouldn't advise jumping there, but my gut tells me to climb and then jump. So, Nathan, and be honest with me. How and it looked like I was about to grab something there that I wasn't supposed to grab, but <laughs> ask me again when we finish. I know better than to talk about that stuff in my videos. Anyways, who am I kidding? I'm just gonna say it looked like I was about to grab Sam's ass, but I didn't. I'm just going to tell the whole co the cold art truth right there and just be very blunt about it. And Hey, Sam. My brother's hanging. Anyways. Let's get... Sam, this is not your time to crank out your pull-ups. This is time to get out of here. And it's time where I grab on your shoulders and just move out of the way. And I see a zipline, and I am so doing it. I'm so ziplining. Let's go. Don't snap, don't snap, don't snap! <laughs> didn't snap. Sweet. <laughs> didn't mean to shoot. My apologies. Uh, reload. And Boats down there. Sir, after you. No one. <laughs> then we jump in the water. I don't know where Sam came from. I thought it was going to take a little bit longer okay. to get into the boat. Island with monstrous Avery statues to the right. I'm so excited, my hand, my hands are literally shaking. Yeah, I know the feeling. It's either that or I just, you know, I need another cigarette. Maybe a little bit of both. Well, here we are, guys. Let's get up to the statue. Find out what's missing. He's got a spyglass, but he's not really looking through it. Maybe he wants us to look through it. Treasure Island, each other. And this is where I get a photo. Yeah, we are saving this. Later, I will. But for right now, let's just get out of here. That was just magnificent. I'll say that. There's that door thing that we came across earlier in the episode, and that, that's what was missing, the giant frickin' statue. Anyways. Hey, come on. Sam. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, you do the honors. I insist, come on. <laughs> okay. Alley -oop. All right, Captain. What are we looking at? There. So, no? big skull-shaped island, what? A big island. No skull. That's gotta be it. Libertalia. <laughs> That's optimistic, considering everything. You know, it is just us here. You're allowed to feel 
just a little bit of excitement over this. Well, I'll get excited when we get Alcazar's noose off your neck. Come on. <laughs> okay. What? I said okay. No, 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 no. Your okays are never just okay. It usually means the opposite of okay. Who the hell else? Chapter 13, Maroon. Now, we kind of reminisce on what happened in the beginning of the game. Sam, can you hear me? That scene that you saw in the beginning was a scene that took place way later in the game, but it was a different situation. It really began when Nathan Drake was in jail with that guy and broke out into like this huge fight thing. But now we're back here. So whatever scene that you saw when I got knocked off the Shit. boat, we are continuing that right here. Sam, God damn it, Sam! And there's an enemy ship right there, and the boat's gone, sadly. He's not around, as of right now at least. And we are to try and find him. Let's move on. Oh, thank God, our supply box. Oh, God. Of course. Everything's gone. Maybe it's a good sign maybe Santa. Quite of a shame we have to do this task on our own. Instead of having a teammate on our side, hashtag Nathan Drake's right, Sam, brother. Besides my life, I'm talking to myself, that's, that's the first sign of crazy. That had to hurt. Really bad. Just push through. Just push through. Especially on wet concrete or rock. Oh my god. I would consider that it would have to be painful. Thank you. Voice crack there, kind of bad. But gotta keep going, gotta keep going. there's that creepy mountain, a little thing on it. Here. And I 
think this is where we... Well, I was about to drop and then... I was about to do that actually, yeah. Fail to climb and then just hit X. Just... Let's kind of massage the wall here and look for a spot. Parvis Magna, Sam. That was your signal. Gotta get to that creepy mountain. A flashlight, at least. That was like I Sam that, saying, Sam. "I see you." I'm coming to you. And then when Nathan Drake just did with this flashlight, it was like acknowledged him saying that to Sam, at least. Now let's see. A lot of possibilities on this on this rock. I say we go for it directly what's in front of us. Reach back, Nathan. Nathan. Be a good man and reach back. And then horizontal climbing all over again. I don't see anybody in the real life repeating something like that at all. Anyways. You would have to have tremendous muscles and just be able to create such momentum and just create something like that. Climbing is a work of art, Dad. Anyways. That is just beautiful. But what I'm looking for is what's in this. Ah, it's a cave thing. It's dark. Very, very dark. Which is bad. Can't see nothing. Anyways. And then we get the momentum, and then one more swing for emphasis, and bam, and I died. I died. I died. I don't know where it came from. Maybe it was like the little rock on the left I just missed, and instead of doing that, I just said, I'm going to try to make it, and the game said, you're wrong. Uh, on this side is what I'm meant to do. This side right here. Oh, 
And this is what we get for just being abandoned. We're just gonna crank out some pull-ups on this side right here. So let's see. One, two, three, four. Two thousand years later. 997, 998, 999, 1000. Anyway, let's. And emphasis swing. I didn't expect. Whoa. Well, let's look at the possibilities. And look at which look at what we should consider a rock. Right in the middle. Then we hop on this and look around. That is a giant slide, and we are going for it. Right in the middle of the water. There! Right there. Jesus. Enjoy it. That has to feel so refreshing, I swear. Refreshing. You see, I don't even have to talk. Just listen to Nathan Drake. He says everything for me. It's a treasure. Hello. He didn't have to say that. The game told me that. It looks like a little uh, spyglass. A little Avery spyglass. I'm looking at you guys. Anyways. Move on and we find out what's new. Bad luck, huh? Pause if you want to read. It's always available. Let's move on, everybody. Try to climb up there in those boots. Ah, this side of the rock on the left. Pretty sure you don't need this. Picked up the pitten. With a python. Jab! And then we stab this smooth stone with a pitten. It's working. Do you guys say pitten or python? I say pitten. Either way, we're using it. Something maybe movement along the tree line. 
Well, that's thick jungle over there, eh? It's all moving. I don't see anything. Damn it. All right, everyone. False alarm. But keep an eye out. Let's go. And the gang's all here. And guys, if you want to be effective in stealth, I'm not trying to, like, be, like, a know-it-all here, but I would, like, suggest, like, getting every enemy on, like, your platform first before moving to another one. I, I'm just gonna say that. Man, I got caught again. I just brawl it out and then just restart my encounter. I, guys, I kind of enjoy just, you know, smooth parkour and just kind of combat your way through everything instead of just brawling your way through the game. Just kind of analyze how to, like, be sneaky, but understand how to, like, uh, clear paths without just being so aggressive. And, of course, it's never that simple. This guy wants to just make it difficult. Obviously, went away from the turn around and then go for the kill. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> he's not gonna turn around and look at us. Just we want him, just when we want him to, he's not gonna do it. Hello. I'm gonna turn around. No, no, you're not. And Yeah. That's how you school these guys. You want to just mark them and just analyze the situation. It's never that easy, but if you just look at it logically, maybe you can get through it. I just don't know. I don't. I just don't feel confident about this one at all. Oh, you could have dragged him further. You could have hit his body in the grass, but he didn't. Waiting for him to turn around. Oh, you could have landed right on him, but I didn't. That's sad. Kind of a bad takedown, but. Is anybody up here? Eh! No, 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 get down. Hang on. Stay. You know you can come over here and swing across. I'm pretty sure these guys have ropes as well. All right then. I just don't feel confident about this one. Wait. And I just don't know if there's anybody left that's worth taking out. That was bad. Imagine that. How did he not see me? Well, that's the end of that. It's fun while it lasted. And 
he's gone. Is there anybody else? I think they lost me again, which is kind of convenient. Uh, but... Okay, they did. They did. At least I can say that I'm just good right away. But, never mind. They shot at me again. Just look around here and not die. Don't fall into the pit. I was about to. Back to square one with this little piece of cover here. Don't be afraid to use your explosives, guys. Just don't. It's gonna help you in the long run. And of course I'm out of this. Oh, it back out. Pick it back out. Come on. You can pick it up. He's dead already. Apparently not. I don't know, but I think this would be a stable place to end off the episode, possibly. And what am I doing pulling out the journal in a freaking middle of a gunfight? Actually, I think it's over, but anyways, I think it's just about the right time to end off this episode. I will see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe, like, comment, or anything else. Peace out, everyone.